Hello, and welcome to Recipes with Ben. Over the past few weeks, I've been harvesting apples. And now that I have nearly three pounds, or 1.3 kilograms, of apples, I want to turn them into some delicious apple butter. If you've never had apple butter before, it tastes like concentrated apple pie with a consistency of jam. So to start, you want to wash the fruit and then cut up the apples into small chunks. If you have an apple decor, that will help speed up the process. And if not, just cut around the core and cut the apple pieces like previously described. Once they're all cut up, put them in the crock pot, and I'll begin to season them. For this recipe, I'm using one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice to start, which is a mix of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. If you don't have any pumpkin pie spice, you can just use those spices. And if you want to make your own pumpkin pie spice, I'll leave the ratios that I like to have down below in the description so you can make it on your own. Then to give the apple butter a little bit of sweetness, I'm adding a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar on top of the apples. Once the sugar is added in, I give it a good hand toss so the apples are fully coated in that sugary mixture. Next, to balance out the sweetness, I need some acidity. So for this recipe, I'm adding a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and the juice from one lemon, which is about two ounces of fresh lemon juice. Then I place the lid on top and add the container into the crock pot and I'll set the heat to low. I'll have to cook for several hours. During this time, the apples begin to soften and then break down. And after about five hours, the structures of the apple become super soft. And this is the time that I gave it a taste and decided to need a little bit more seasoning. So I added more pumpkin pie spice. And after giving a thorough mix, I added a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And allow that to cook for another three hours. And after cooking on low heat for eight hours, it was time to use my immersion blender. The immersion blender helps give it a smoother consistency for the end result. And after it was all blended, place the cover back on top and cook for another hour. If you want to concentrate it down even more than I have done, you're welcome to do that and cook that for even longer. But after nine hours, I decided it was ready to jar up. The apple butter has a smooth, glossy, caramelized color at this time. And the smells that filled the house was just like fresh apple pie. So I used a spoon and added it to a 32 ounce mason jar, but there's still some left over, so I placed that in a small, smaller mason jar. Now, if you're wondering what to use this for, the simplest is just spreading on something like toast or an English muffin, but it can also be added to pancakes or muffins to give it a more apple flavor. So there you have it, a spreadable apple pie in a jar or apple butter. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you found any of this helpful. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. I'll see you again soon.